round one of this contest between in the black shorts with right in on Nicky Potts and in the opposite corner with the the grey shorts Darren Hayward both boxers get straight down to action Potts throw in wide left hooks partially landing this contest is over three two minute rounds and the referee for this contest is Christian Evans from Blackwood as we can see both fighters same, same sort of height same sort of build seem to have the similar sort of styles as well you know when they got on the inside winging away with them big hooks just hope you know the referee uh, Christian Evans can keep control of this fight doing a good job so far and uh, Haywood just landed a, a clip in right hand over the head of Potts there but Potts took the shot well to his credit and this is a sort of mauling brawling type of fight both boxers are getting close and smothering their own work to a certain extent That's better by Potts. Lands a right uppercut to the body. And a good right hand over the top. Haywood's momentarily standing. He calls Potts in. Really good action from two good fighters here. Three, four good punches by Potts. And another good right hand. And a right uppercut. Haywood doesn't want to take too many of those. He needs to move his head a little bit more. He wants to avoid the big swinging hook from Potts. Round two of this contest between Nicky Potts in the dark shorts with the logos and writing on and Darren Hayward in the grey shorts. We feel at ringside that Nicky Potts probably won that first round so Darren Hayward's going to have to do something to try and turn the direction of the fight here. Potts landing some good jabs and that's probably good advice to both boxers I would say to land the jab. Hayward lands his own jab there on the second one. Nicky Potts twists a left hook in there that has hurt Hayward and he's, he's on the back foot now and his arm gets caught in the ropes which gives a, which the referee separates the fighters. That was a good left hook from Potts then. Um, I think you know Hayward uh, he didn't look too steady on his feet then. I think uh, the, a bit of a delayed reaction from that left hook from Potts wobbled him a bit. He stumbled back onto the ropes. Got his arm. Luckily enough he got his arm caught in the, uh, in the ropes. Uh, the referee stepped in to break them up and that gave him a bit more time to recover but yes I think he felt that left up from uh, Potts early on uh, Potts just you know seems to be taking establishing a bit of a, a lead now he's taking over with the, the more powerful shots and more distinguished shots as he said as he said there he goes again with the left up uh, putting the pressure on Hayward again I think Potts is just winning this contest just with just basic boxing skills a good jab throwing the, the occasional right hand like we saw there now and he starts to unload as Haywood's on the ropes he fires back but he just can't seem to get anything effective working so far in the contest Haywood tr tries to get a few body shots and Potts loads up with the right hand and a left hook as we draw towards the end of round two and uh around which I think uh, Potts has probably won again now Robin yeah I think uh, Potts has just stole that round again you know the cleaner punches the bigger punches coming from Potts uh, yeah I'll give that second round to, to Potts again so that's uh, two rounds two rounds to zero at the moment um, Hayward needs to come out all guns blazing for this last round and maybe you know force a knockdown maybe to stay to keep in with the shout for the uh, result for the end of the fight third and final round of this contest between Nicky Potts and Darren Haywood we feel at ringside that Nicky Potts is two rounds up so Darren Haywood's probably going to have to do something special now to try and win this fight to try and turn things around but the start of round three is Potts who's landing the, the more effective shots I think so far in this contest Potts is just doing everything a little bit better than Haywood I mean they're both similar sort of heights and similar sort of styles 
as Robin said at the, the start of the contest but it's just Potts is doing the slightly more effective work landing the better shots throwing the occasional left hook especially seems to be doing uh, quite a bit of damage yeah even Potts he looks the fitter of the two you know both started off quite strong you know but I think uh, Potts is the stronger the bigger puncher of the two he just seems to be taking the wind out of the sails of, uh, of Haywood Haywood's struggling a little bit now you know, I'm not saying he's gassed out, but he's blown a little bit. Potts is staying on strong. You know, he just needs to keep this up now. Uh, and for me, he, he will clearly take the fight. I think the referee has given the boxers a little bit of a talking to just to try and cut out the rough stuff. We don't want any injuries or clash of heads spoiling the fight. Potts really, if he wanted to be sensible about it, he could just go on the back foot here and just box. I think he wants to put a show on for all his fans that are here in the Cumbran Stadium tonight. And he wants to try and win this one in style. And that was a good right hand. Hayward again momentarily stunned. Referee Christian Evans warns Potts again about leaning in. Hayward lands a couple of shots to the body, but it's Potts forcing him back against the ropes again. Yeah, and I totally agree with you there. I think, you know, Potts has fell into the trap of Haywood's here, getting involved in a brawl again. You know, he was, he, he, was, he was doing better when he was boxing. You know, when he's, well, you know, his boxing skills a bit better. But as the fight draws to an end, I think he's done enough there to take the last round. And I'd like to give uh, Haywood a share of that last round, but to be fair, it was a Potts round. 